The Prayer Room – Creating a Place to Meet with God Prayer rooms are popping up all over the place – in churches, Christian schools, universities and hospitals. My friends and I even discovered three prayer rooms right next to each other in an airport in Frankfurt, Germany, one decorated for Christians, one for Jews, and one for Muslims. Prayer rooms in and of themselves are not evil. To create a quiet place where someone could step away from his or her studies or work to take time for prayer is not a bad idea. Incidentally, I have staffed prayer rooms for various schools, universities, and official church functions around the United States and internationally for several years now. I've also seen much spiritual healing take place in prayer rooms as people join together in sincere, earnest prayer, claiming the promises of God. I believe in the importance and benefits of prayer rooms. However, this is my word of caution and this is why I'm even mentioning this here. While creating a prayer journey or having a room decorated for prayer may make the environment more peaceful and welcoming, we need to guard against thinking that we have to create the right physical environment with which to meet or experience God. I'm not talking about a worship environment here. I'm talking about a place to pray. The point is that we could have the most elaborate and beautiful prayer room this side of heaven and still not find His presence if our hearts are not humble and repentant. Humility and repentance compose the environment where He truly meets us. Psalm 66, 18, 51, 17 and Isaiah 57, 15. In this genuine biblical environment, any place can become a sanctuary whether a lonely prison cell or a prayer room full of believers. So wherever we are, driving to work, in our private prayer closet, in a special prayer room with friends, rather than looking to physical props to help create the environment, let us remember that only God's presence through the Holy Spirit can make our room or anywhere a truly sacred place. His Spirit is what we need most, and it comes only to those who are broken and humble in heart.